You always showed up, you know, uh, uh, even if you're hurt, uh, you know, uh, if you, 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 you got cracked ribs, man, you know, you just tape them up and go, you know. Uh, uh, we'd never thought about missing a shot, you know. If, if you miss, you wouldn't get paid, you know. Yeah, you got to pay the bill, you got to pay your, you, you know, spend, uh, uh, you have to uh, support your family. So uh, uh, we just went with it, man, and, and uh, uh, it was the last of the troopers, man. Yeah, that's for sure, and... Uh, this is probably way back before even, uh, well, I don't know, when did they start doing flights? I mean, like, allowing wrestlers to be on airplanes and all that. Well, well, you know, we, we would fly, you know, uh, yeah. to certain places like St. Louis, uh, uh, you know, where, where the, he, he uh, uh, Sam would fly uh, us all in. But uh, in the 80s, um, um, we flew a lot. We flew a lot. Uh, um, and and uh, Crockett uh, would, would uh, in fact, he owned uh, two or three planes, and, and he'd rent planes, charter planes for us. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it was uh, it was uh, a lot better. But, but uh, still, it was, uh, uh, you know... Uh, a toll on your on your body, and and, sure. and you still got to go every night. You know, yeah. or you, you still have missed out on all the activities at home. You know, but uh, yeah, we would fly. We we started flying a lot in the eighties. Okay, and uh, now going back to your career as well, uh, you've been managed by many different uh, people, um, many different managers, and, and who was your all-time favorite? Oh man, he's out there. Bobby Heenan, man, <laughs> you know, uh, I love him, man. You know, uh, you go there. Uh, oh yes, uh, uh, and then of course, uh, you know, uh, Grand Wizard, yep. and then uh, of course uh, Captain Lou Urbano, and uh, uh, in between that, you know, I had some uh, great managers, you know, and uh, uh, just, um, man, I, I don't know, that they, they were all great, you know. Yep. Uh, uh, honestly, um, they're all different characters, all different, you know, I talk about them all, you yeah. know, I tell stories about all of them, and, and in fact, I mention them all, I, I name them all, all my managers, and uh, it, it's just, uh, it, it was just a great ride, my man. Sure, and uh, it, it would be a, a thrill of mine also to get ever get a chance to interview like Bobby Heenan, I think he'd be a cool person to Mm -hmm. have you. I, I really don't know how to get in contact with them, but I'm sure maybe you have a, a way of uh, making that happen or whatnot. But anyway, uh, uh, now uh, we talked about Michael Strider, who the who uh, later on uh, viewers will hear my interview with him. Uh, uh, and you talked about him, but uh, what's your like? How did how did this all start? What's what's the connection? Well, Michael, um, um, uh, you know, contacted me, uh, and, and uh, he wanted to do a and uh, he writes for different papers yeah. and different, uh, 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 you know, uh, publications. And uh, uh, he came and took some pictures, and he did the story on, on myself and uh, up-and-coming uh, legend show sure. uh, here in the area. And uh, my goodness, man, once I met the kid, I mean, I fell in love with him. He's such a great guy, you know, and so talented, you know. And and uh, so uh, that's, you know, once... What man, just like you, you Frankie, man. You know, I, 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 I just met you, just talked to you first time right yeah. now, you know. But I consider you, you're sharp, you're a good guy, man. You're doing something that you love, you know. And hey, I consider you my friend, you know. And sure. uh, please call on me anytime. You, uh, I, I'll be willing to do anything you want to help you or anybody, you know. Uh, uh, you're very sincere, and and this is how Michael is, you know. Yeah. And and uh, he's just a great, great guy. And. Uh, um, uh, it, it just uh, something, you know, he, he did a movie, you know, he, he got his hands in so many different things. Uh, he came here and shot a, a, a movie, you know, okay. and, uh, yeah, and he wanted me in the movie, and I agreed to it, and, in fact, we shot it yeah, on location here at BWC yeah. at my part, you know, yeah. and uh, I played myself as Jimmy Valiant, you yeah. know, a pro wrestler that ran my school, and, and um, so they, they, they uh, um, uh, of course, read that into the uh, to the movie, and uh, so it, it, it asked them about that. And, sure, uh, I, it's, mm -hmm, it's I a would pretty have to do that. Okay. Uh, is, is that a movie that's uh, out now, or uh, what? What he's doing uh, is, is uh, still uh, being uh, uh, edited and put together, yeah. and uh, they're going to take it. Their, their plans is take it to the uh, uh, film festival uh, okay. uh, this fall, coming fall, and. Uh, and, uh, you know, I hope good luck for him, for yeah. him because uh, I really enjoyed doing it. And, and uh, I know he, he, you know, he brought the whole crew out, and uh, and it was pretty neat, man. It was a pretty neat deal. And uh, what, uh, what's the name of that film? For um, something like, um, uh, 
Jesus. <laughs> hundred uh, hundred thousand so many stuff about minutes. Okay. It, it's a real neat it's a real neat thing. Uh, it's it's um uh it's it, it's minutes I know. Uh, okay. Ten thousand or no hundred thousand and and or something and okay. it says minutes. That's sure. the name of the film. Mm -hmm. Okay, well cool. Uh and uh uh well we're almost uh well, I've got about another 10 minutes here to, to uh, interview you, but I, I want to say I appreciate the fact that you uh, let me uh, do this. And uh, like Thank I said, you. if you could help me out uh, by getting in contact with other wrestlers or people that you know that would say, hey, you know, this is kid on the radio in Northwest of Minnesota yes, that uh, is doing interviews to people, would you mind doing that or whatever, you know? Sure. I really appreciate that. Right, well, you got my email address, so you know how to get in contact with yes, me. Yes, sir, and you got mine, and yes, please do. keep in contact. And uh, I want to thank you so much uh, for this, brother. And sure. uh, brother, I just want to tell all the people, man. Woo, man! Woogie, woogie, man, I feel good. I tell my people and my brothers and sisters, don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare miss this one. The greatest show happening today. Frankie, Frankie show. Woo, Messi. Yeah. Well, cool. Uh, and uh, uh, last but not least, I have a couple more questions for you before we run out of time. Uh, and, then, uh, and I will have you do a station ID for me. I appreciate you doing that a little early, but I'll have you do that again if you will. Uh, sure. Anyway, uh, the next question I had for you, uh, what do you think of wrestling now compared to wrestling back in your day? Well, you know, it, it changes every, uh, uh, it seemed like 10 years, Frankie, you know, um, uh, like in the 60s, you know, uh, you could get the people, uh, man, just stand up and cheer and, uh, uh, as simple as, uh, just uh, coming off, uh, the rope with a big forearm smash, you know, yeah. because there was so much wrestling that it was, you know, the name of the game is wrestling, so we did so much more mat wrestling. Yeah. We'd, we'd get holes, you know, and hold them holes, and, and, and the guy would try to get out and counter, and, and uh, you know, and we'd tell the story, you know, and then in the 80s, you know, uh, it, it started getting uh, 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 more spectacular moves like uh, a standing suplex. Sure. But just one, you know. Then yep. that'd be the finish. I, I can picture uh, visualizing, seeing uh, um, Harley Race holding uh, Jack Briscoe up in that standing suplex, you know, for it seems like, uh, uh, man, it seems like three or four minutes, you know. It's probably just 30 seconds. But then, man, boom, coming down all in one mm -hmm. time. And, uh, oh, it was just, man, the people would just come right out of their seats, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the 80s. They started coming off the top ropes, yep. and, and you know, nineties man, they started getting <laughs> big monsters, and yep. you know, it, it just changes. You know, it changes. changes you know, and, uh, times. yeah, yeah, you know, and and it's good, Frankie. It's good what they're doing. Uh, I mean, today, man, if if it, if if it wasn't working, if it wasn't making money yeah. for uh, Vince, you know, uh, uh, WWE, brother, believe me, trust me, they would go a different way. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, it's all, it's a, it's a business. It's it's a company. It's all about money. Man. Sure. Yeah. And uh, about money, but also about entertaining the fans. Exactly. You bet. Uh, and, and like I said, uh, I just want to say thank you for letting me do this interview. Thank the you, uh, second interview in my interview series called Chatting with the Stars, or I should say Frankie Slauson Chat with the Stars. And, uh, oh, by the way, I understand that you have a birthday coming up. Birthday, August 6th, uh, which would be next uh, Sunday. Uh, uh, I, my wife just told me that uh, <laughs> uh, it reminded me. And, yep. of course, I'll be here at BWC. And uh, if anybody want to come and uh, celebrate uh, Hanson Jimmy's birthday, I was born 1942. So uh, this is going to make me uh, 64 years old, <laughs> brother. And, uh, hey, come by and uh, be my guest and uh, spend the day and have a piece of uh, cake with me this Sunday at uh, uh, Boogie's Wrestling Camp, Shawsville, Virginia. Check it out, jimmyvaliant.com. The address is there. There's a map how to get there. Hey, come and celebrate uh, Boogie Woogie Man's uh, 64th birthday this Sunday. This Sunday. All right, cool. August uh, 6th. All right. And, uh, and uh, last but not least, and uh, let me uh, just uh, say this, uh, uh, if you could... Uh, Give me a station idea. This is what I, if you could say this, uh, this is the uh, legendary Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant, and you're listening to the Frankie Spawson Show on Pioneer 98.1. Go ahead. Hey, Missy, this is professional wrestler Jimmy Valiant, the Boogie Woogie Man. You're listening to the Frankie Spawson Show. Yeah, or B Square. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, cool. I appreciate you uh, let me interview you, and... Man, uh, if you ever get a chance, and, and I know you told me if I ever get a chance to go up and see you, uh, I will definitely do it. And if you ever get a chance to come up to northwestern Minnesota or Thief of the Falls, look me up if you ever have, have the chance.
God bless. I will, Frankie. And, uh, you know, uh, say hello to Baron Von Rosky. He's up there, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, in the car, right? You better believe it. Okay. Look him up, man. He'd be a great interviewer. And sir. you have anything else to say to uh, the listeners out there? God bless everybody. Hey, and uh, hey, make your dream come true, whatever it is. I don't care if it's a, a fireman, a, 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 a doctor, a garbage man. If you want to be that, hey, you go for it. And if you want to be a professional wrestler, ballet, or, or manager, or referee, hey, go for it, man. Hey, be what you want to be. All right. Love you, Frankie. God bless you. Love you, you too, man. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you very much.